Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to set up the new iPhone 5 SE. Um, we're on the main screen where it's uh, asking you to choose your language, so we're just going to swipe, choose English, and first thing you're going to do is choose your country, and then it asks you to connect to your uh, Wi Fi network. And let's see here. So, this is one of the one of the nice things is again, um, think of your iPhone 5, but now it's um, updated to all the latest specs of the iPhone 6S. So a lot of the internal mechanisms, so it does read my 5 bandwidth um, or 5 gigahertz network, which is really cool. Um, just nice to... It's nice to have all the updated uh, features sort of you know for those of you that have that older iphone like it is limited and a lot of things so this one um doesn't have a lot of those problems now which will be really cool so um connect to my wi-fi network after this it should ask us to sign into our apple account let's see what it's asking here in order to complete this activation please use another phone to call t-mobile you will need to all right so we're just going to skip past this okay so location services we're going to turn that on because a lot of the cool apps work through there bam we've got touch id now which is something we didn't have before so we can now uh set up the phone with our uh, fingerprint to unlock it which is really cool so we're gonna uh, just take our thumb and just place it and you guys don't try to copy my fingerprint now because that wouldn't be nice okay so here, there we go. So it's asked me to adjust my grip, but basically it wants to get an accurate reading of your whole thumb. So, okay, we're all done. Um, we do want to create like a little backup code. And just in case it can't read your fingerprint, you know, it might finger might be wet or something. So we just create a little code here. And there we go. So in this next section, it is asking to um, how do you want to set the phone up? So do you have a previous or are you going from an older iPhone to this iPhone? And if so, what you can do is you can restore from an iCloud backup. And what that means is uh, on your previous phone, you want to go in, you want to go to settings, you want to go to iCloud. And before you erase that phone and give it back, you want to make sure you back up to iCloud. And so it will back up a good portion of your data um, to everything from pictures to wallpapers to apps to all that good stuff. And then when you go to this phone, if you tap on restore from iCloud backup, you can log into your iCloud account and then it'll show you that backup you can tap it and then it'll put all that stuff on this phone automatically so if you're going from an older iphone you do want to select icloud backup if you're really old school and you're still using itunes um then you'd be backing it up to the computer and then you would tap on itunes backup um if you're coming from an, an, an android phone you would tap move data from android then it's gonna it's gonna take you it's gonna basically tell you to download their app they have a special app on android that uh basically will allow you to transfer all your stuff from your android phone to your iphone 5se um and then you know you have all that new stuff here or maybe this is your first phone first time using an iphone you would simply just tap use as a new iphone and then you would be using it from brand new. So let's go set up as new phone. And here we're gonna sign into our Apple ID, which is really important because you can't download any type of apps or music or movies or anything without an Apple ID. Everything works through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in right now. All right, so we're signed into our Apple account. We're gonna hit agree. 
and it's just doing a quick setup on the device and then from here it's going to ask us a few more questions about you know setting up siri and a few other um just hey let's find this out first and then we'll be right at our there it is oh apple pay so this is if you want to link up your credit card with your iphone and use apple pay which is accepted at select retailers i'm gonna uh pass on this for now i'm just gonna go you set up later um icloud keychain is really cool because it'll actually save all of your passwords and different things so to make purchasing easy um different things with websites i'm gonna pass on that for now I do want to use Siri, so I'm going to turn on Siri, and I'm going to opt out of sending Apple diagnostic information, and welcome to the iPhone. There it is. All right, guys. hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HD Tech Videos, and have a good one.